So Wes and I, just so everyone knows, have texted. Okay, We actually texted earlier today. Uh, he texted me, and he said not to say anything mean about him, to be nice, because he's very sensitive right now. And I am going to abide by that. Uh, I'm not going to say anything mean to Wes uh, on this live. Except for the fact that he is a total dumbass. And essentially uh, risked, jeopardized his shot at a million dollars, okay? When he was sitting very pretty. Three elimination wins. The toughest alliance ever to be formed on the challenge. He had the game by the balls, all right? He was actually, I mean, he was in an absolutely incredible position. <clears throat> but there's this funny thing called pride. And sometimes, man, pride, pride will get you. And uh, it got Jordan on free agents, <clears throat> where he essentially nominated himself into the same Elimination to go against me. Uh, and Wes did the same thing tonight. Um, I'm glad he did. <clears throat> I wasn't at the time. <clears throat> when I, when he first nominated himself, I'm like, damn. Whichever one of us loses this. Usually, when you go into elimination against someone, one person has more to lose than the other, right? If I'm to go into an elimination against an unproven rookie... I have everything to lose. They have everything to gain. Um, or vice versa. Uh, Wes and I going in against each other, I mean, we all had everything to gain and everything to lose. And the, the stakes were just so high. Um, like I said, I'm glad he did it now. In the moment, I, I wasn't. I played it off like I didn't care, but I was like, why are you doing this, man? We knew that there was more eliminations down the road. <clears throat> we knew there was more eliminations to come. Just based on the amount we had and the skulls that were out there, there was at least two or three more eliminations. Why he would decide to nominate himself to go against me when you still had people like Swaggy who've never seen an elimination, Corey whose record isn't all that impressive, Josh, uh, you know, who... You know, doesn't have that great of elimination record either. It's like there were so many easier options for him. And for whatever reason, he decided to go against me. I wish they would have shown like more of the conversation that we had. Because there was never really... It, it wasn't like this, oh, well, I wanted to go and he's taking my, my, my shot. Wes had zero desire, okay? I don't care what they were showing in his interviews. Wes had zero desire to go in. Never expressed any interest of going in until I did. And I made it known. He said it, it, was, it came by surprise. No, that entire day when I said TJ, when I basically said the FIFA team who has the most World Cups uh, was TJ's mom, everybody at that point knew that I was, that I was purposely losing and was going to send myself in. He hadn't won at that point, Okay. So nobody had won. I was the first one that eliminated myself that elimination. I made it clear from the, the beginning of that day that I wanted to go in. So how he can sit there and say, well, he did this, uh, you know, you did this. He, he, he snuck this up on me. This was a surprise. Don't believe that. All right. Here's what, here's what, I, here's what I compare it to. I'm drinking a Tito's and soda, by the way. That's how goats celebrate. Um... Here's, a, here's what I compare to you. Have you ever seen two kids and one kid, there's a toy in the middle of the room. One kid has zero interest in playing with it until the other kid expresses some interest and starts playing with it. Then all of a sudden, the other kid starts fighting him for this toy that he had zero desire to play with. That is essentially exactly what happened here. Wes had zero desire to go in. He was sitting pretty. Third, third challenge win in a row. Um... You know, I think he was just... We, we had a stranglehold on the game, all right? He was protected by, by the people that, you know, he was protected by his people and by my people. I was protected by my people and his people. So we were both, we were good. Um, 
I just knew it was my time. That day, they didn't show how miserable it was. Sitting there holding on to those stupid missiles. They didn't show us we had to reset because we fell in the water before because someone's missile broke. I was freezing my ass off. I was sick. I was like, get me out of here. I want a purpose. I either win a skull and I stay or I lose and I go home. But I'm not just sitting here biding my time anymore. And um, I just had that epiphany, I guess, before anyone else did. All right? I knew that the way this game was going to play out is everyone, everyone's time was going to come. Um, and, I, and, and, and you know, it's almost like being in love. You know, they say you know you're in love. There's no way to explain it. It's just you feel it. That's how I felt. It's like being in love. Go and get my red skull. So, um, yeah, I nominated myself to go in. I didn't care who I went in against. It really didn't matter. I was miserable. just wanted to have a purpose. And as soon as I did, it almost like you could see, like, Wes, it, it threw him into, like, a tailspin. Because he... It's something that he, it's almost as if, and not, and this wasn't even like, I didn't plan this. And I go, let me out strategize Bergy. He didn't see it coming. And when I did it, I think it threw him for such a loop because it was something that he didn't predict. He didn't know how to respond. And what I said in the show and, and, and what I, and what I meant and what I, what I said and what, you know, I, I was really, what I really meant was Wes would rather uh, go home, be eliminated and sent home than to be in the house where I had a red skull and he didn't. He had his three wins in a row, but once I was like, well, I'm getting a red skull, it was almost like, hold on, my three toys suddenly don't look as cool anymore. So it sucked, man. I mean, listen, at the end of the day, it's not the way... And, and the, if the shoe was on the other foot, there is no shot. I'm setting myself down. Too much to lose. Too much to lose, man. We call it the pride before the wall. It's just so funny, too, how history repeats itself. Jordan did the exact same thing in free agents. People got in his head. CT, Zach, and I forgot who else on free agents. Gassed Jordan up, and they were like, dude, you got to nominate yourself to go in. And he did. And we know what happened. Same thing with Wes. Somehow he let Corey and Nelson, of all people, manipulate him to go in. And uh, he did. And, you know, history repeated itself. So, listen. I'm chilling. Uh, at, you know, and as I said before, uh, I promised Wes that I would not say anything mean about him. Um, so other than the fact that he is still an ugly ginger, I won't call him spineless anymore. I used to call him a spineless, soulless, ugly ginger. Now I'm just going to say soulless, ugly ginger. Because he had a spine. Because it actually took a little bit of, of, of balls to do what he did. And stupidity. But uh, Okay, and that's it. I'm not going to say anything else more. That was it. All right. From here on out, Wes, I'm not saying anything else mean about you. Okay? Not that what I was saying was mean. I think I was just trying to uh, let everyone know how dumb you were. Um, so, yeah. It was a uh, big night. Big night. Uh, obviously glad the way that it played out. Um, uh, it's unfortunate that it had to go down the way that it did. I was really, I was really uh, looking forward to riding that thing out. We had, we we we, uh, we had a good run there. We were doing some uh, some pretty amazing things. But as they say, all good things must come to an end. Boy, oh boy, did that one sure come to an end. Wait, is Wes on here? Someone said invite Wes. How do I invite him? I don't think he's on here. Wouldn't show up. Yeah, I don't think he's on here, people. If Bergy gets on, I would be happy. I would be happy to invite him. But I... How do I bring Wes on? If he's not in here, how do I bring him on? Can't do that. Can't do it. Add him to your live video. Doesn't he have to be doing a live... You accept the request. Did he request me? He didn't request me. Come on. 
I know how Instagram Live works, all right? But the person has to be... Yeah. Listen, if, if, if I see him pop up in here, if anybody else... If anybody else uh, sees Wes pop up in here, we'll invite him in. Doubt he is. He's very busy right now uh, filming... I don't even know. I don't even know what he's filming. That that abomination that's going on in Kansas right now. I'm sorry. I don't even know how to describe that. So, friends, was it friends with benefits? I call it midlife crisis. Okay, that's it. No more mean things. No more mean things. When you said mother to TJ, I was nervous, but he laughed it off. Listen, TJ's got a good sense of humor. They're going to edit it to make it look like he was offended. Listen, I knew at that point, I was like, I'm, I am so done with this challenge, okay? You have got it all effed up. I say effed up because my dad might be in here, and he said no more cursing um, on my lives. Uh, so dad, I said effed up. You got me effed up if you think that I am going to... Spend another day in that bunker, all right? That freezing cold temperature, uh, in the water, shivering, fever, you name it, and not have a red skull. Thank you for bringing light. You are welcome. All right? Not to, I mean, there's a lot going on out there right now in society. I just want to... Uh, Listen, I just pray for a peaceful resolution to all this, okay? I pray, obviously, for justice, for what's going on, um, justice for Floyd. I think amazing news was announced today uh, that all four of those officers have now been charged. Um, and I think, you know, they say the wheels of justice, unfortunately, move very slowly. But I think when all is said and done, when we look back at this moment in history, as bad as it is right now, all right, and there's no one out there that that that, that can say anything other that's as 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 volatile and as hostile and as and as you know bad as things are right now. I think when we look back in history, this will be this is where you know they say like you hit a you hit a a, a road and take a you know takes it's a turn. I think we're hitting our turn. So again, pray for peace out there. Uh, yeah. Pray for a, a, a pray for a peaceful resolution to all this, and for something to actually come out of it. Okay, not just empty words. Please don't ever work with Corey and Nelson. Uh, why would I ever do such a thing? Neither one of them can be trusted. All right. It's not that it's not like I'm working against them. Actually, <clears throat> in a strange way, uh, this season was actually. Corey and I had gone back and gone at each other since day one, too. I mean, a lot of people don't realize that mine and Corey's rivalry is pretty, pretty long-standing, too. Ever since Bloodlines, we've gone back and forth. I mean, I've act I've beat him at every uh, turn, but we had a, a rivalry for a while. Um, and this season, that kind of made a turn for the time being. We'll see what happens uh, later on this season. Nelson, same thing. Uh... Nelson and I never saw eye to eye, but there's just something different about Nelly T this season that's just, uh, you can't help, listen, you can't help but not love the guy, all right? His, his, you can't script the stuff this guy says. His, his interview bite tonight when he said, I love multiple choice, uh, I love multiple choice because there's a 50-50 shot that I'll get the answer right. That's, com that's, that's, ab you can't write that. That is absolute comedy. And, uh, listen, man, love him, hate him. You, you cannot argue the guy's not entertaining. Oh, Fessy says I could sit on his face and to please stop DMing him. Uh, why, Fessy? That's not what you said in, in the DMs. And by the way, everyone, listen, Fessy, while you're in, while you're in the chat, I just want to clear something up here. Fessy does not have a better ass than me, okay? He just had his hip popped 
back. I didn't. If you look at the picture, the one I'm talking about, it's posted on my Instagram right now. All right? I'm actually very offended. Fessy actually left his ass at the bunker today, or when we took that picture. But because he had that, you know the the the, the booty pop that girls do in Instagram pictures when it's their butts, you it's actually like this, but then because they arc their back, it looks like that. Yeah, that's what Fessy was doing. Okay, Fessy had that little Instagram booty pop. Where he learned that from, by the way, Fessy, maybe you can speak on this if you're. I don't know, still in here, probably not. Uh, where did you learn that? Um, where did you learn those moves from? Inquiring minds would like to know. Oh, there he is. Work smarter, not harder. Isn't that what you always say? It is, Fessy. It's true. You got me there, man. I stand corrected. Fessy does have a greater ass than I do. Fessy, I hope your parents see that picture, all right? I've already done it. My parent, my parents have already seen it, it all. There's nothing I could do other than maybe, maybe I don't know, drowning kittens. There's nothing I could do on TV that my parents would be like shocked by at this point. I don't know if you've ever exposed yourself on national television before. And um, I hope mom and dad are. I hope I hope they ground you. Okay. Hope they take the keys to your Camaro. Swaggy's in here too. Oh, Swag Dog. Swag Dog in the house. Hey, Swaggy. Listen, I got to say, man, you, you kind of did me dirty, bro, with the 27th birthday gift you got for Bailey. Okay? Really upstaged me because, like, Morgan and, and Bailey's birthday were, like, in the same week. I'm like, hey, Morgan, here's a mountain bike. You're like, hey, here's 27 grand. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. And while, listen, and Swaggy, you know what? While we're on the topic of uh, birthday gifts, if we're doing a 1000 for every year, I'm turning 38 at the end of the month, bro. Just, just saying. Just saying. What should be on here? You know? Maybe I can... Maybe I can... How do I... Is there probably no way to... Uh, he's filming. You guys said he's filming. Wes isn't going to want to do a live if he's filming. Why doesn't everyone right now DM Wes? Because I know he checks his DMs. All right? Because he's in some really weird chat groups. There's, I guess, some whole segment of society that's, like, into gingers. I don't know. I don't know what that is. Okay? But... So I want everyone in here to DM Wes and be like, Bananas wants you in his live. He can't is... I can't think of... Uh, I can't think of... No, nope, I was just checking. I got a text. It wasn't from Wes, though. I was hoping. My heart actually skipped a beat. By the way, people, who likes tie-dye? These are the new joints that are going to be coming out here soon. All right? Stay tuned. I came up with that logo over myself, by the way. Actually, I sort of did. I kind of stole from the Grateful Dead, but don't at me, Grateful Dead. Send this live to him in the DMs. Can you taggle? Don't know what that means. Hey from Aus. Is that Australia? Bananas? Beck Zam 91? Australia? AUS? I, I don't know. Listen, I thought they spoke Dutch in Australia, so I really don't know. Jay Lynch says, I love you. I love you too, Jay Lynch. But I still feel the need to see other people. Are you going to do another challenge? What kind of question is that? Does the Pope shit in his hat? Listen, the last 23 seasons of the challenge, I've done 20. And the only three I haven't done were because I, for whatever reason, didn't fit the creative. So, chances are, the sun is going to rise in the east and set in the west. Wes is going to scare small children when they see his face. Death, taxes, and Johnny Bananas. I think those are the most surest things in life. Maybe there's a few other ones I missed. You are still the goat, says Trensetta. I mean, listen, 
Your words, not mine. Actually, they were my words, though. Craig says, I did a challenge drive with my friends, and you're my number one to win. Craig, might be the smartest decision you've ever made. Does that hat come in men's? I know it's actually pretty small. Listen, here's the deal. I can make it bigger, but here's here's the thing. When I bought this, I actually got this in Scotland when I went to visit Scotland. When I got it, I didn't have all this hair. Look at this. You see all this hair? It's the longest my hair has been since I think free agents. Look at this mane. So... Uh, I can't decide if I want to cut it now, now that like society's kind of opening back up, sort of. Uh, I don't know if I want to cut it or if I want to keep uh, keep going. Look, I even got, look at the wings are coming in. That. So I don't know, but uh, what I was, the reason I was, I was saying that, I kind of got off track there, is because when I bought this, when I had my hair trimmed really short on the sides, so it fit better. But yes, just in case you're wondering, it does come in men's. This is actually men's. Don't let the Dalmatian print fool you. Watching you on Worst Cooks is my favorite. Thank you. It's an it was an amazing experience. All right. Loved Worst Cooks. And hold on for one second. Uh, I also have this really fun project I'm working on right now. Um... So, that's my YouTube at the bottom. <clears throat> I'm working on this really fun project right now called Cooking in Quarantine. So what I'm doing is, for those of you who aren't watching Worst Cooks in America um, on Food Network on Sunday nights, 9, 8 central, uh, what I'm doing is I'm taking the recipes that we made on Worst Cooks and I'm recreating them at home. So, so far, I've done a wild mushroom and spicy Italian sausage egg frittata with Gruyere cheese. Oh my God, it was incredible. Uh, I did the the last one we posted.